Would you like to take your images from dull to stunning in just a few clicks? This is just the beginning of what Luminar Neo can do. Whether you're brand new to photo editing or you've been using Photoshop and Lightroom for years, today I'm going to show you why I think you should take a very hard look at Luminar Neo from Skylum Software. Luminar Neo operates either as a standalone program or as a plugin from within Photoshop or Lightroom. If you're brand new to photo editing and Lightroom and Photoshop are a little intimidating to you, then Luminar Neo may do everything that you need. If you're a seasoned Photoshop Lightroom user, Luminar Neo has some features that could save you lots of time and produce amazing results. This is just going to be an overview of Luminar Neo, and I'm just going to show you all of the amazing things it can do. It's not going to be an in-depth tutorial. So let's take a look at this first image that I quickly demonstrated at the beginning of the video. So <clears throat> these are images that I took on my recent trip to Japan. These are all my unedited RAW files. So these have had nothing done to them. And the first thing we'll do is we're going to select this image here. I'm going to go to Edit. And you'll see that it is really underexposed, but the sky looks okay. And the first thing we're going to do is we'll just go into the Develop module, which is very similar to Camera Raw. And we will drop the highlights a little bit, and we'll bring those shadows up a little like that. And then let's go to Enhance AI. So the big thing with Luminar Neo is that it uses artificial intelligence to examine your image and then make recommendations based on just what it sees in the image and all on one slider. So let's take a look at this Accent AI. And as we bring this up, look what it's doing to the image. We'll enhance the sky, let's do this. And that already looks amazing. This is before and after. So totally before is this to this, and that was just a couple of sliders. But we can do even more than that. Let's take, <clears throat> and we'll add just a little bit of smart contrast into there like that. And let's go down and do some sun rays. Notice the sun is over here on the left. Let's go here to sun rays, and we are going to do this, and we're going to place the sun center right over here, and look at these sun rays that you can see poking through the trees. We can go in and we can change the number of the sun rays, randomize that pattern, make it a little bit warmer if we wanted, and penetrate further. There we go. I'm liking the way that that looks. Just like that. I like that a lot. And then we're going to take and we're going to relight the scene. And again, it's using AI to do all of this. So we're going to take the, the brightness based on near, far, and we can change that. So if we think the, the front of the image, the near to the camera needs to be a little brighter, we can bump that up. And look what it's doing just to the bottom of the image. And then we can take the brightness far and we can bump that up a little bit as well. And then we can change where the depth, where it falls off. That's very cool. These tools are just uh, amazing and they're just not available easily in Photoshop or Lightroom. So let's zoom in and take a look at something a little bit closer here. So if you zoom in here, you'll notice my sensor has got a dust spot on it. And let's say I had a really dirty sensor. So go, we're going to go to Erase, and it's got Remove Dust Spots is one click. So one click. Now, granted, <clears throat> I only have one dust spot that you can see here, but imagine I had a bunch all over the image. It's going to take and process that and automatically remove all of the dust spots. Boom. It's gone. The next thing you'll notice is this jet airplane that's flying into the frame. So all we have to do to get rid of that is is we'll just paint over it and then click Erase. And boom, it's gone just that easy. So let's take a quick look at the before and after. Before, after, before, after. Boom. And that's a really quick 
fast and edit that looks really, really good. Let's take a look at another photograph. So this is an image that's not from Japan. It was actually from my Leavenworth workshop last fall. And at first glance, you may not notice, but when I zoom in to 100%, give it a second to catch up, there we go, you'll see that I've got these power lines running right through my trees all the way across. In, light, in Photoshop or Lightroom, Lightroom would probably be impossible, but in Photoshop, this would be pretty tedious to get to erase all of it. Let me show you that I can do it in one click in Luminar Neo. Uh, so we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna go here to erase and you'll notice that it's got remove power lines as a single click button. So we're gonna click remove power lines. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because this is a really big raw file, 60 megapixels, and I don't want you to have to wait through it. All right, so here we go. Let's zoom in and see if we can even find any trace of those power lines. Let's zoom right back into the middle. And they are gone all the way across one click. That alone is amazing. So this photograph is one that I did take in Japan. It is the uh, snow monkey at, a, at the snow monkey park. And uh, let's see what Luminar Neo can do with just one slider. We're gonna go here to enhance AI and we're just gonna move this all the way and boom. Did a really nice job of maintaining the highlights and bringing up the shadows. But let's go into develop and it does have some really nice masking uh, abilities. We're gonna take and let's zoom in first. So we can see these eyes and let's make our brush a little bit smaller, make sure that it's soft. And we're just gonna paint right here on the eyes just like that. And then we'll go to adjustments and let's bring up that exposure just a little bit on those eyes like that. I like that a lot. So let's go back and uh, to the masking and we're gonna add, uh, let's uh, do a new mask. We're gonna do another brush and do it a little bit bigger and actually gonna paint inside of his face right here. We're just gonna bring up some of the shadows, maybe just the smallest amount like this. And let's zoom back out so we can see. And let's do a before, after, before, after. Super easy, super fast, and it does a really nice job. This shot is exposed properly for the sky, but unfortunately that put the foreground and the pagoda in deep, deep shadow. So again, let's jump right into Luminar Neo and let's see how fast we can edit this photograph and get it to a usable state. Go to Enhance AI, and we're just gonna bring that slider up, and boom, we're gonna enhance the sky just a little bit. Doesn't need a lot, but look how much better the sky looks and mounts Fuji in the background. It looks a lot, lot better uh, right off the bat. Let's go into color, and we're gonna add a little bit of vibrance. And if we don't want the vibrance to go everywhere, what we'll do is let's go to Masking, and we're gonna do that Mask AI and let this thing do its magic as it's figuring out all the structures. And boom, here's our architecture and it grabbed the pagoda. And so now that it's masked, all we have to do is go to adjustments and vibrance and we can just adjust the vibrance and nothing but the pagoda, which is really, really good. So we're gonna bump that up just a little bit. And then we're also gonna go and do the same thing. We're going to develop and masking and if we go here, we notice it doesn't have to reprocess it. It's already got its, it's, it's done, we only has to do it once. So we're gonna click on architecture, it's gonna grab this, and then this time, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna increase the shadows just a little bit on that, like that. Maybe just a little bit of contrast, and boom, we're done with that. The last thing we'll do is let's go back to uh, erase, and we're gonna get rid of that awful, awful uh, dust spot by just do 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 not that big like that and erase. And let's do a before and after, before, after. Wow, what a great difference between that and that, all with just a few sliders and a few seconds of work. We're gonna take a look at one more image and this time we're gonna do uh, a little bit more. We're gonna push Luminar Neo a little bit further. This image is from Japan this Tory Gate is huge, as you can see with the people around it. I got there right at sunset, but it was a blue sky sunset. And I was really hoping to have some water 
a higher tide, a high tide, and I was also hoping that I would have some kind of color in the clouds. So I only had one day to do this, one day to visit, and this is all I could come away with. So let's see what we can do with Luminar Neo to create an image that I really wanted to come away with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit. We're immediately going to go into structure and we're gonna boost this a little bit. And what it's gonna do is we're gonna zoom in so you can see what, it's, what the structure is actually doing. It's adding, it's bringing out some detail and well, some structure here in the Tory gate, which I think really helps a lot. I like that a lot. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under Enhance AI, and let's zoom back out so we can see what we're seeing. And we're gonna bring this accent up. And I like, let's just bring it all, well, maybe not all the way, but somewhere around in there. I'm not worried about the sky, because the sky was a blue sky. We're gonna fix that in a big way in just just a second. So we're gonna to go to Sky AI, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a sky. We're gonna scroll down here, and it was sunset, so let's say, let's choose this one here. and See what that looks like. And boom, it just threw it in, and it matched the lighting, and it looks really good right off the bat. But we can take, and maybe, um, maybe we can tweak it just a little bit. So we can adjust the position of the sky, bring it a little closer, back it up. So somewhere around in there, and this is actually where the sun was, setting was right in the back. So again, this is a really nice sky to choose for the replacement. And let's zoom in and just take a look and see how well that Luminar did on the, on the sky. I think it did a great job uh, overall, just really, really nice. So now that we got the sky done, uh, our foreground and stuff still a little bit dark. So now that we've done that, let's go back and let's go back to enhance again. And one thing I wanted to mention was that every time you select one of these, uh, these tools, it basically layers it on top of one another. So if I go here to edits, we'll see that uh, I've got a structure, the first thing I did, then I've got enhance, and then I've got my sky edit. So if I go back and I do enhance AI again, again, I'm not editing what I've done, I'm creating another layer on top. So I'm gonna go back here to accent AI and we're gonna pull it up again. And maybe not quite that much, just, just a little bit. I'm not gonna, if I bring the sky, it's gonna make it darker and I don't want my sky to be darker. So I'm gonna leave, leave that alone. But I am gonna go under here, under developed and smart contrast, and I'm probably gonna add a little bit of that. And I'm gonna make my foreground darker. So let's go to, uh, we're gonna make a new develop. Again, notice how I closed it and opened it. So that allows me to create a new layer. So <clears throat> let's go to masking. We're gonna do a linear gradient from the bottom like this. And let's make it a little darker. That, yeah, that looks, that looks better. <clears throat> That's definitely better, better. The last thing I want to do is let's just try to get rid of some of the, the distracting elements in the photograph, namely the people. So we're going to zoom in to, uh, let's go to 100%. There we go. We're going to go over here to erase and make our brush just a little bit bigger. And we're going to pick this person here and the person standing next and hit erase. Okay. And it's a little bit wonky right there, so we can just try to see what we can, if we can make that a little bit better. Okay. So sometimes you just have to drag across it a couple of times. Let's do, let's get rid of this lady over here. Much better. And right here, we're going to get rid of these people taking the photographs and the selfies. Nice, nice, and let's go get rid of this person way out there. It was low tide, unfortunately, and it was always gonna be low tide when I was in Japan at sunset, which is when you wanna shoot. Um, and there's this person here. It was a long shutter speed, and so this person here is very blurry, so we're gonna see what we can do with erasing that and see how well that comes out. Now notice the fence, or the, the stone wall got a little bit off. So we're gonna draw a line across it like this and ask it to erase and see if it 
fixes it, and it did pretty well. Let's do it one more time. There we go. There we go. Now, this couple that's standing right here, there's absolutely no way that that any AI is going to be able to, to uh, erase this and fill it. If you watch, I will try to take this, and if we say erase, uh, it's just going to fill it in with the pylon, which we do not want, uh, we don't want to do. Instead of using the erase tool and getting the result that I did, Luminar does have some advanced tools that you would find in Photoshop, and that includes the clone tool. So from here, we can click the source, and then we can just start to paint. And we can resample the source by holding down Alt or Option, and then we can just keep on painting to finish just very quickly getting rid of her standing there. Now, I'm not going to go and take care of him as well because it just takes too long. I just wanted to show you that those advanced tools are available in Luminar Neo. So let's see what we've got from beginning to end. Before, after, before, after, before, after. So that's going to wrap up the video and my overview of Luminar Neo. I think that it's a fantastic program for beginners and pros alike. So if you like what you see, by all means, go check it out. See if it's going to help you out as much as it does me. If you decide that Luminar Neo would be a right fit for your editing workflow, be sure to use offer code JPARKER10 to get 10% off your purchase. And if you would like to see more videos on Luminar Neo, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to do that. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe, do all of those things. Really appreciate it, and it helps my channel out a lot. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.